Over and over again, I look up and search for short films on YouTube that were shot on anamorphic lenses like the recent Suri glass coming in at 50, 35, and now 24 millimeters to get inspiration for my own short films that I want to produce. But time and time again, I see that it's not uploaded in the right aspect ratio and it drives me up the wall. Let's talk about that. Hey guys, what's up? Mustafa Talib here with Cinema King Productions. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to export your anamorphic footage properly so that it is viewed as intended to be. I feel that it's an injustice to the cinematography of the film when it was shot using anamorphics, and yet it's presented like a fake letterbox video that was slapped on the image using the whole sensor of the camera and cutting off the resolution, giving it the cinematic look. The point of the anamorphic is to have a wider field of view on the x-axis of the frame, giving the imagery a larger scope, making the subjects much more grander and giving it that unique cinematic feel along with its unique other features, like the oval bokeh and sci-fi lens flares. Now, let me first put it out there that YouTube can handle the proper cinemascope for anamorphic footage. How do I know? Because this tutorial right now that you're watching is filmed with anamorphic lenses and I've done it myself a few times with my short films in the past and it's so exciting to see that my anamorphic 4K footage is registered as 5K on YouTube. So with all that said, let's hop into Premiere Pro and see how this is done. Alrighty guys, so that we are here and we are up and running with Premiere Pro, we have our footage imported. And we're going to first de-squeeze everything, so make sure you import everything and everything is generated. Then you're going to go ahead and open the folder and select all of your footage. Make sure you grab everything, then you're going to right click on that footage, go to modify, and then interpret footage. This is important so that you can de-squeeze it first, so that your sequence and composition is that correct aspect ratio. We're going to go down to conform to and then click the drop down menu and click on the 1.3 HD anamorphic setting. And then we're going to click OK. Then you're going to select all your footage one more time from the top. And grabbing the first clip Go and click and drag that into a new sequence. And as you can see, your composition is the correct aspect ratio that you shot your anamorphic footage on. And to double check this, we're gonna go into the sequence settings and we can see that it is a 4K file, but the pixel aspect ratio is 1.33 because the lenses were 1.33 squeeze. Click OK. After you do your editing and your color grading and titling and all that, you're going to go to File and Export Media. So then you can preview what you see. I like to leave the preset at match settings at the high bit rate. I like to check render maximum depth and maximum quality. Go down all the way to the target megabits per second. Maximum, I like to put at 40 and then also the target at 40. So there's no mistake. Then I click Q. And then Media Encoder boots up. Once that happens, it's loaded. All you gotta do is just go over to the green arrow right here and let it export. And that's it. That's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, say no to fake letterboxing.